Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. Today we are taking down Christmas. We are taking it down, putting everything away. You guys could see little Macy laying on the dog bed. I noticed that I forgot a bunch of decorations. So Sam wants to kill the tree. He wants to throw it in the garbage. It's only a few years old. I the absolutely love lighting. this tree, but the lights on it, you know how you buy trees and they have uh, lights built in? That you have to replace every light now to fix this tree, which would just be a waste of time. I anyway, I love the tree. I don't want to get rid of it. I'd rather just buy new lights and put it on. Ow. Yeah, this is what's happening. After Christmas fight. Ow. Dog toy fight. Don't. It is early, but we are headed out together as a family today, and I'm going to tell you why. Where are we going, Sam? We are going grocery shopping. You know that I'm always scammed by people. Yeah, it's true. Sam is always scammed by people, you guys. Tell them about what we're doing. So anyways, I, I came across this person that needed food yesterday, and I was thinking, oh, food, you know, like... So somebody posted, so he found a post online, and it said that someone was saying like th that they needed food. Yeah, and get to a food bank because it's closed. Or something. Someone said go to a food bank, and they said like I can't get to a food bank because it's closed. And they have kids. Yeah, it's a whole family. It's a whole family, mom and dad. Yeah. So I was thinking, all right, let's see if anybody does anything. And only one person posted, "I'm bringing you bread, eggs, and milk." So, so was I, I emailed her and said, look, what do you need? I'll bring it. And she said, anything can help. Just you know, kid snacks or whatever you have. So I told the girls and I said, we're going to do a family thing today. We're going to go grocery shopping for somebody that needs it. And they said, you're being scammed. The kids said you're being scammed? Yeah, both of them. Not me. You didn't say I was scammed? Gabby, Gabby. You, think, you think Dad's being scammed? Yeah. And you never know if you're being scammed. It's better not to know if it, if it was a scam or not and just do it, I think. So. It's true. It. I, feel like, I feel like you have a choice in life to do the right thing regardless of the consequences. If you do the right thing for you, it's still going to be the right thing even if you're scammed. This person is asking for food and she's asking for food dropped off at her house, right? Yeah. Did she say leave it on the porch? Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, what is the only, like, if he's being scammed, the worst thing that can happen is that she sells the food to get money, but I believe that when someone asks for help, God sends four people, at least four people, to help you out. And... Not very many people responded to the ad and and were willing to help this this person out and Sam felt really bad and he said like let's go let's just go get some groceries and bring them to them because it's Christmas time and everybody struggles with things everybody it doesn't make you less of a person because you need help it it just doesn't and i always tell people that telling is what saves you like you have to tell you have to ask for help when you need it you have to, it's the only way that you can get help. And even if it means going through a lot of mean or mad people before, or people who say that you're a scammer, before somebody comes and shows up to help you, it's okay. You just always ask for help if you need it. It's not, it doesn't mean that you're any less than anybody else. It just means you're going through a hard time and everybody goes through a hard time. So we are going grocery shopping four people we don't know and we're taking the kids and it's such a good lesson for them and it's such a good memory for them that they'll have when Sam is long gone that you know he was able to help someone out of the goodness of his heart because he feels compassion all right so Sophie and I are at the drugstore because she is a connoisseur of makeup now and she wants what is it that you want primer she wants primer what do we use primer for? You put it on before your makeup. And what does it do? It, I don't know, but you put it on before your makeup. Glass spray. Makeup finishing spray. Oh. Do I need this? Finishing spray and before spray? Sounds like a ripoff. All right, I'm getting hand soap for Gabby. She loves this stuff and it's on sale for $3.50. Okay, so I got sucked in by the sales. Gabby, they had sales like crazy. 
I got all of it for you. Do you like that one? Um, sure. I got it all for you. Happy birthday, Merry Christmas. I had to just pick six. They were six for 10 bucks. I was seeing people like spend $10 for like things I spent $60 on before. I'm like, what the heck? Anyway, I got all those pines. And I got her this little, they're all hand sanitizer. That's what we love. That's what we love at this store. I had to just grab them because. She paid twice. Do you like all of them? I like some of them, yeah. Here's the thing you put on your boot bag. We use sanitizer for the car or for the barn because mm -hmm. it, horse hands never are clean. You put the, you put the hand sanitizer in the bottom. And I got you this. Soap. It was on sale for four dollars. Four dollars for soap. I got strawberry, whatever I could, because you like strawberry. Get some fruit, uh, veggies, and stuff. You can get like can I have the cookies, and cheese, time? and kid snacks. I don't know what kids. Cookies, snacks. cheese, and kid snacks. You guys go get potatoes and whatever else she asked for. And, and fruit and veggies. What was ours? Wait, what was ours? Cheese and <laughs> fruit snacks and kid stuff. <laughs> okay. Wait, are those my favorite grapes? No. no. Oh, these are healthy. These are healthy. Do you think they want healthy? And they're on sale. We should get ones that don't have peanut butter. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, chocolate drizzled. That looks good. Okay, get that. All right, let's get some Lay's chips. Oh my gosh, that's a family bag. What are those? What are those? Dip clusters. Get the All right, put the chips in. Cheese. Cheese is something that's really good. It will last a long time. Where's the marble? Where's the marble? You guys think we should get yogurt? There's a 16 pack or something, a 12 pack of mac and cheese just out there. Operation drop off is complete. How do you feel? I feel good. And we saw packages that in front of her door. So people that were from other people, like yeah, other people. And the, and the post is gone now too. So. And they, she took down the ad. So right. like once a couple of people commented and said, "Hey, I'll bring you this and this," then other people, then she took down the ad. How do you guys feel? Does it, feel, does it feel good to help people? You feel good? Yes. So the problem is, is that in the past, Sam is a bleeding heart. He always feels for people. And I do feel for people all the time too. And every time we've like answered somebody's call for help, it's always been a scam every single time. Like so many times we've, we've fallen for scams. But the problem is, but the thing is, it's up to you to choose to do a good thing or not and if you choose to do it then you do your good part and let this and if it's a scam let that be their karma the good thing that you did out of the goodness of your heart we spent time today going shopping for someone else is our karma whatever happens after that is their karma I believe that that family needed the groceries though and I'm glad to be a part of something bigger than me and I'm glad that Sam is always kind and always caring and always wanting to take care of other people. I don't know if you guys can see but there's some kids sledding over across the road and all the horses are watching. All the horses are watching. They're like what's happening? The zoom isn't very good on this camera but they're like all spinning in circles all of them except for the baby who couldn't care less. They're literally like watch horses. They're all watching. I don't think you guys can see them, but there are a bunch of kids standing over there. Don't you know that